and we're back. We're done with Spark for the night. We're moving on to Page Kit. Uh, I thought it would be fun if we themed this a little bit, and in fact, we're going to do so much discovery with it that we're actually going to find a theme in addition to theming something. Uh, so we have some options here. We can go for uh, just going straight from a PSD to a theme, but I kind of don't like that idea. Firstly, I don't know how compatible Theme Forest's the uh, PSD themes are with uh, Pixelmator, which is the only PSD opening thing I have access to right now. So I think I can save some time by going with an already cut up HTML theme. Trouble is, I haven't found one I like yet. So uh, I'm going to have a look for one. In the meantime, what I'm also going to do is uh, create a fresh install of PageKit. So let's go to pagekit.com and download a new version of it. Do, 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 do. Come on then. Download. OK, so this is going to take quite a while because they've recently made this installer quite a bit bigger. Well, not that much. In the meantime, we can look for a theme. Uh, I'm not really fussed what this theme is for. It's not like I have a site that I'm building this for. But I just want something nice that's not perhaps too complicated. I mean, this seems, this seems nice. In fact, if I think about it, this would actually work quite well for, what does this do? This would work quite well for the daily videos because I could have a show all and then I could have JavaScript, PHP, Minecraft, games, whatever. And then like thumbnails of those things and maybe the title underneath or I guess maybe not the title underneath. The title's a bit boring. Just nothing, just the thumbnails. That works. What about blog? Wow, I didn't want that drop down menu, but anyway. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Okay, page kit thing is downloaded. We'll extract that. Da, 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 da. Hmm. I'm actually going to close PHP Storm because I don't want to keep it open anymore. It's way slow. Okay, so that's not exactly what we want. Source. I'm just putting this somewhere where we can work on it. Uh, in fact, I'll put it in the tutorials folder. There we go. Okay, what shall we call this? Let's see, tutorial page kit themes. We can delete that blank folder. Okay, so all I've done is I've extracted the uh, page kit archive and I've moved it here and I've renamed it. So that's cool. Get away. Go away, PHP Storm. Okay. Now let me open up a terminal window there, close that, new tab, close that. Tutorials and page kit. Love that fuzzy matching. Okay, now unfortunately, um, page kit doesn't ship with its own uh, serve command, which means we need to go and add a hosts entry, etc hosts. Uh, pseudo vim. <coughs> hey. So we'll call this page kit dot dev. Oh. And we also need to edit the Apache stuff. Pseudo vim again. Apache 2 extra v hosts. All the stuff. I'll just copy this setup that I have here. Why does it keep on doing that? Nope. Fine. No, no. Okay. I do have to add this bracket back because lame. Anyway. Uh, hmm. Oh. 
I wish I knew more hotkeys for them. I say this every time, but I actually do wish I knew more hotkeys for it. Tutorials, tutorial, page kit, theme. That's what I call the folder. Yes. Themes. Let's do that. Okay. Copy this little bit here. I'll just drop this in here. Well, I mean, do I really need an error log? I don't really think I need an error log. It's going to mess this up because I'm going to make a GitHub repository of this afterwards. I probably don't want to litter it with files that are not necessary. Themes, the rest of that nonsense is fine. Apache, why am I not? Apache CTL restart. Okay, so now I've got a host entry. Apache is configured and chain and uh, restarted. I should be able to go to pagekit.dev. Dun, da, da, da. And it should show me the installer. Installer? Installer. Installer! No! That's definitely not PageKit. What's going on here? Oh, I gave it exactly the same name, didn't I? Lame. Okay. PageKit.dev. Right, restart Apache again. Nope, not that. There we go, page kit uh, installer. Now, we also need to create a database for this because it's about to ask me that. I just know it. Let's uh, make one called page kit. Okay. Next, I am English. Ooh, more United Kingdom than the United States, but anyway, user, uh, database name is page kit, no prefix, connection failed. That's probably why, that is why. Okay, page kit themes. And just anything here will do, I'm quite sure. Never save that, ever. <laughs> the browser always asking me if it can save. No, no saving. No saving for you, browser. All right, now that should be slightly faster. Um, okay, so what I did was I clicked on blog and it gave me this mess which I don't think is exactly what I want. Mm, full width layouts, grid, grid sidebar. I'm busy if you've just joined, looking through themes for uh, themes to make a page kit theme out of. Uh, file designs D that's the word designs to make a page get theme out of uh, this seems like the place I'll probably remove this kind of stuff uh, let me see okay don't remember now this is the default page kit dashboard it's got a bunch of widgets on that I don't want. For instance, I don't want to hear more news about PageKit through this. Uh, it doesn't interest me how many users are registered. And if I refresh this, that should uh, that's in the middle. I mean, sure, sure. I'm not in Hamburg, but anyway, I'll just take that out as well. Who needs that? Um, now, we can install a blank theme and I think that's a really good idea. So I'm going to install, I'm going to go to the marketplace and I'm going to install the blank theme template. Yes, yes. Okay, I'll install this thing. This actually takes a bit of time and that's because if you were here last week, you may remember that themes are extensions just like extensions are extensions. PageKit calls them packages, they install through Composer and into like a non-vendor folder. And then you can enable 
extensions and themes. It's quite a nice system, quite a nice setup. Now, because I've enabled that, when I go to the home page, it's going to look ugly because there's no styling on here, right? Uh, some extensions. I want to enable the blog so that I can style it. I want to enable. What else do I want to enable? Form maker, and I want to enable user profile and portfolio. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I haven't thought that far. What does portfolio actually do? No, I'm getting I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's uh, look what the source code looks like. So I'll open up Atom because it is miles better for streaming than PHP Storm. And expand it. Okay. So immediately I can see there are some files I don't want here because these are all relevant to PageKit. So I can delete them. Yes, go for it. Okay. Okay, now I think what I can do, the packages, okay, so the theme will have installed in here, which is theme hello, if I remember correctly. Let's see, system, themes, hello. Okay, this is the one that's enabled. What's interesting is that it doesn't tell me Oh, so I can't delete it and I can't make it uh, enabled, but I can do that for other themes that aren't enabled. Okay, that makes sense. So uh, what do we do about this? Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. Theme, hello. I've got some views here, template. So this is the main layout template, and these are sections within that. Um, So I need to define positions. I need to define uh, depending on the depending on the theme that I've got here. Now this is, I think, the one that I said would be cool. Uh, so let's try and buy that. Wow. Okay. Wow, that's actually, is that? I mean, this is the first theme we've looked at. Maybe we should look at like one or two more just to make sure. That's one really good option. So I'll pin that and uh, can look at that later. Uh, the scrolling seems a little weird to me. At the same time, at the same time, it's sort of okay. Like there's this grid view, which seems okay. What does the blog look like? Let's go right side bar. The right side bar. <laughs> right side blah. Okay, maybe we can. No, we'll leave these open. Let's pin this and let's pin this. I love pinning stuff. Okay, so there's a blog with a right sidebar. We can do searching and categories and tags. That all actually looks quite good. That looks quite good. I mean, if this was a personal site, like you could put your name up here. I'm not really sure what you would do up here. Maybe get like a featured blog post. I don't know. But these all seem fine. The pagination seems okay. I don't know if I'd go with that animation though. That seems a bit over the top. What is this designed in? Uh, like what CSS framework? I'm guessing it's a CSS framework. This looks like Bootstrap. Is it? Yes, Bootstrap. I don't know about the CSS animation, but it seems like kind of all over the place though. Um, so that's another one. What if you don't want multiple of these images? Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. So we have this top section. 
Oh, that is the thing I wanted to check. Is there like a global search in PageKit? PageKit global search. I'm guessing not actually. No. Uh, okay, let me add a blog to this quickly. That's another thing. I do have a blog on here. Blog. What is the link for this? What is the link? I'm guessing it's going to be slash blog slash whatever that post not found. One. That's a weird permalink system. Let's see. Name. Name and date. Hmm. Okay. Never month. So now this link should be different. Here we go. What did I want to see here again? Oh, there doesn't seem to be a search here. Maybe it's just related to the theme that I've got going. Let's go back to system and change the theme. Okay, refresh this again. Very pretty blog. But no, there is no theme. This looks very similar. The heading thing. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. The heading thing looks sort of similar. Maybe this isn't. Maybe this isn't the best thing. Let's look at this one again. So this also does that fade in header bar that we had previously. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to leave that one pinned. I do like this one, so I'm going to leave it pinned, but maybe we should look for something that's slightly different design wise. Let's see. Also bugs me that a lot of these are like the thumbnail and this image says nothing about the design. You have to go into them. I wonder if that's intentional. Because I think this is showing me by most popular. Oh no, newest items. Showing me by newest items. But it still means I have to go into the thing to be able to see what's going on, which is kind of annoying. Okay. Yes. Choose allowed. Sure. This is very image heavy. And again, that sliding, I don't like that. Let's see if we can find one and identify what it looks like just from these images. Hamburger menu, don't want. Very colorful, but I've been to that one before. This one doesn't look that bad. See if we could get a nice, so this this front image is the one I'm talking about that doesn't look that bad. If we could get a nice hero image for something like this. Mm hmm. Very busy. Nah, I don't like that. Video on background's an interesting idea. I don't think I have any good video to do that with though. Let's see. Let's have a look at this one. Ah, oh, screenshots are better for me. Except when it does that. Very slidey. Nah. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Interesting visuals. The visuals make me want to click on these things more than anything else. Da, 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 da. That one doesn't look too bad. Hmm. I don't know, maybe that one's not that bad. So, oh, live previews again. All the live previews. Open these all up at the same time. Oh, screenshots. No, too small. Let's just do live previews. Okay, so sticky header again. Not too crazy about the font. What does the blog look like? You can't click on this link. Oh. If they've done like scroll hijacking, it feels like they have. It doesn't scroll that nicely. Mm, this doesn't scroll that nicely. What's going on there? Not a very versatile theme, I don't think. So let's close that. Uh, yeah, this is a mess. Let's not do that. This is not that bad. I have to say, this is not that bad. We can do filters for episodes. We can do... What does the blog look like? It's not that bad, gotta say. Like, I would hide this, because that's a bit ugly. But the rest of it's not actually that bad. Hmm, infinite scrolling means that we're gonna have uh, difficulty with, compared to how PageKit does this. Let's add a few blog posts and see what the pagination looks like. So blog, add, I'm going to have to add quite a few of these, aren't I? While I litter the blog with stuff. Can I duplicate? Yes, I can. <laughs> ah, the power of exponentiation. Okay. Now, what does this pagination look like? Like nothing. Why? Publish. That's interesting. So it's got draft support for blogs, as expected. So this doesn't do the infinite scrolling thing that this theme suggests it should. Still, I gotta say this isn't the ugliest theme. This isn't the ugliest theme. I'll pin it. Why not? This is basically a daily of me looking through theme forest. Seems like it's gonna be that. Come up, no. Ooh, that doesn't look bad. Mm, I like the banding on that. So this one doesn't look bad at all. jQuery, Bootstrap, CSS. Show me what you got. What you really, really got. Hmm. 
What? Is that a bug? I don't like how the menu bars do that. Why does everyone want to do that? List. In the meantime, another sticky header. The banding on this is nice, but the animation coming in, I don't know so much. It's very sparky. If I was doing a spark site, then I would go more for something like this. Okay, I give up. So one of these, one of these, I'm thinking this is probably most in line with what I want to do. So uh, that seems like a good choice. In the meantime, I'll close these two. Now, let me just have a look at the licensing. Yes, so a regular license will be fine for this. And go to checkout. Yay! Now, uh, I'm just checking out on this other screen so I don't dox myself, but um, <laughs> I'll be right with you. I have a drinking problem and it is that I can't drink properly without missing. Okay, so this seems to be going okay. Uh, download. Cool. Here we go. I'll just put this on the desktop. And that is that. That is that. Now we can get to building. Right, so back in Adam, uh, I'm going to go and enable the ugly theme again because that's the one that we're going to be working with. Themes. And now when we go to the home page, it's going to be super ugly. Okay. So the blank theme that we have here, we might actually want to rename it. We'll call it... Uh, Mm, mesh. I mean, that's really the theme it's based off of. Mesh. Uh, for that, we need to change this. So I'll just say assert Chris mesh. It's a page kit theme, version one. Title mesh. Why not? Sweet theme for page kit. Uh, MIT is right, authors, I'll put my name here. And image JPEG, I'll probably need to replace this with a screen cap of the image once the theme is built. Um, no styles included. Mm. 
Why have they put that into CSS and JavaScript? It's interesting. I mean, that's how I'm going to style it. I'm not going to style it any differently, but it's weird that they've put that in there. Um, so no styles included. How to develop a theme. Here is some instructions. Sweet. For everything else, I'm going to delete that. So change log, readme, delete. What does this ignore? Bundle, the yes store. I'm already ignoring that. Node modules, sure, why not? We can leave all those things in. Okay. So, uh, I wonder what would happen if we refresh now. Is it going to break? No, it's exactly the same, isn't it? Well, something's broken. Okay, I think it's because the folder is different from what's specified in here. So the name here, I'm going to change this to mesh. I can delete this. I'm very particular about this nonsense, so things like quotes I get really uppity about if they're different. Anyway, define menus. Now, what does this themes menu have? Docs, not that. Template, index index what did that open okay so it's got one menu with some filters for like a widget area I guess uh, in which case menus main menus well well How do we do that? The blog extension, how does the blog extension do categories? This lists all posts. Does the blog extension handle categories or tags or things like that? If I head over to the blog, settings, No. Let's edit one of these and see. So page kit doesn't appear to have categories or tags or anything. Oh no, I closed it. Doesn't appear to have support for categories or tags or anything, which is interesting. Um, so at the moment, we're just going to deal with one main menu, I think which is fine. Get rid of some stuff and change some formatting. Okay, positions, sidebar. Now, I guess we could call this a widget. I guess. Let's call it left sidebar because the design does allow for a right sidebar. If we get a blog, have a look, it does allow for that. So, um, let's just call this left sidebar for now. And let's call this left menu. Okay. I mean, because we're being so descriptive about where these things are. Okay, and then config stuff, which we're not going to mess with, mess around with for the moment. But I'll just change these quotes because complete consistency. Now I should be able to re-enable this theme. Uh, so if I go blog system themes, I simulated Greg themes, and I enable this. Yes, it's enabled. Okay, so this is still going to look really, really ugly, but that's fine because uh, at least it's working, right? At least we can enable it. That's good. So let's just do one change to this for now. I can close this theme. Let's go into views template. Now this is the layout template for the whole thing, right? And so here there are some things here, for instance, um, we defined the menu, but we gave it a slightly different name. So we said left menu. 
so it checks if that menu exists in the definition in our index.php, and if it does, it echoes that stuff out. Not too crazy about the short template syntax, so I'm just going to say print, because why not? And quotes for this. I mean, I do like the short template syntax, but people other than me hate it. So anyway, left sidebar. So if we get as far as implementing the right sidebar, that name won't clash. So system messages is fine. Content is fine. Footer is fine. Um, and so the footer that this renders here is actually the JavaScript stuff and analytics code and that stuff. It's not really a visible footer. PHP print. It's going to collapse a bunch of the stuff because for me it's um, quite needless. So logo is params logo. That's interesting. Uh, this is interesting because I wonder if this is configured through a setting. Let's see, system info. Is there a logo thing here? That's a bunch of system nonsense. Ooh. That's interesting. I don't see a way to customize this. Site settings. There. There's that logo. That's what gets displayed up here. Well, well, I mean, we can keep that functionality in there. We can keep that functionality in there. Because if we look at the meshable template, that actually does have a logo image in there. So yeah, why not? Let's do that. Uh, and then quotes for all of this nonsense. All of the quotes, come on. You can do it. There we go. Okay, so what we need to do in this layout now is we need to get some meshable markup. Uh, where's this folder? So I'll load this in here. Um, and we need to get some styles in here. Ooh, there's a SAS version of this stuff, but I don't want to use that right now. So what styles are here? CSS lib, CSS main. I'll copy that stuff. Mm. Fine, I'll just copy it. Let's see, packages, page kit, mesh, CSS. There we go. Okay, so that stuff's in there now. So now theme, this is uh, a lot of stuff that page kit exports for us. So I don't really know what I want to do with this stuff. Um, if I head over to, uh, if I head over to this, oh, Oh, that's interesting. I actually do have to style that stuff. I do have to style that stuff. If I look at the, that's actually brought in from the content. I don't know how I can override that. Because it's this stuff here. Hmm. Hmm. What am I going to do about that? OK, I'll figure that out just now. For the moment, though, we want to get this basic outline. Let's go back to the work page. We want to get this basic outline and all the content on the inside here. So let's go close all the stuff and go back to our template. Uh, right, back to our template. And I closed the mesh, mesh stuff. <laughs> uh, index is the page that I want. OK, so let's get all of the stuff and dump it in the head here. Now, this is uh, the format that we need to be using. So I'll duplicate this quite a few times. And 
Uh, it's not scripted style. So uh, style says, okay, go into the theme folder and load the stuff up. I think that's what it's saying. I mean, I'm guessing it's what it's saying. Uh, and so we want CSS lib normalize. Make your console log. Make sure you, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Make sure. I loaded my, I loaded some app keys into, uh, onto screen earlier on by accident. Yeah, I know some, uh, so Greg's teasing me about showing credentials on stream, and I did actually just now. So yeah, <laughs> about that. How did I copy everything but like the main stuff that I was supposed to copy? So let's put this before the override stuff. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry that it's so delayed, Greg. I'm sorry. And everything is broken. So, that. Oh, that's interesting. It's compressed this all into... No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. Where's all this other stuff? I mean, it's basically broken everything. What? Okay, okay, okay. This is the canonical one. So view style theme. Themes. CSS. I mean, do we comment this one out? Maybe? This is peculiar system. I'm just going to enable the other theme and then switch back. See if that has something to do with it. No, oh, go away. No, still broken. What did I do to break this? I'm just going to reverse all the things. Sigh. Okay, back to where I saw that caching stuff. Disable. No! Why is this broken? What did I do? What did I do? Menu exists, left menu. It's not loading any of that stuff. Themes. Oh man. What did I do to break this now? I'm such a dope. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I don't really know what I did to break this. And it's not going to let me do that. So I'll close everything and I will re-download that theme again. Because because broken uh, and ugly and horrible. Make this as the default. Refresh and that other theme should be gone. And... Oh, that's well, that's weird. What's, what's in that? Customize? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So that didn't work. I absolutely broke the theme. 
I'll go and install it again. <laughs> no idea what I did to break it that badly. But anyway. Okay, so hello is the name of the theme. And download it pretty quickly. Small steps, small steps. Just rename this. Okay, themes, enable. No! Why? That's exactly what I did last time and it worked. This is super depressing. I'm going to take a quick break uh, and think about life and my choices. So.